Slow motion, here we go. All right. My super hydraulic punch! Oh! And she flies off into the distance. It's rare that I get to try out new games on the channel that might be a good fit and that people might enjoy and that I might enjoy. This is something called Brutalistic and uh, it's, it's a game where you are stick figures, like said people, and you've got um, like an open sandbox level. Uh, that you can mess around with and you've got a few of them I've, I've decided to come to this lovely uh, green place today to mess about the, the really cool thing about this game is um, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Uh, it's it's got some interesting physics mechanics um, uh, I'll, I'll ask my editor James to color the bodily fluids something discreet so that it doesn't affect uh, the viewer too much. So, um, without further ado, what is this game? Well, you get to mess around with people like this. Now, I'm in the sandbox mode because I feel like messing around is kind of my forte. I like to do that, and I know you guys want to watch that. So here we have a bunch of tools and weapons and stuff that we can mess around with. And these guys, you're not going to enjoy it too much. But, that's besides the point, this is a spawn gun. This allows me to spawn many more people, um, which I'm not going to do. We're just going to leave it there for now. We're going to use it later on. And then, got this thing. Not only do we have a bunch of weapons up here that we can mess around with, we've also got this this wrist cannon. Um, you can put it on your wrist, and then then you can then you can shoot with it. You've got some cannonballs over here that you can load into it, and then you pull the little lever here. There you go. You heard the little clack clack. And then you grab it with the other hand and. You shoot. Now, if I was to point this at somebody's face and let it go, something awful would happen. And I'm, I, I might I might do that later, but for now, can I get this off? Or is this like forever? Whoops! Oh, wait, do I have like telekinetic powers? Or did it just like grab your hand? What did I do? I, I, whoa! Oh no, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I, he hurt his face, right? Now because he hurt his face, we're gonna have to get rid of him or her. Whatever that is. And to do that, we've got a grappling gun and a double grappler. I think these are the only weapons. Yeah. Uh, the grappling gun is basically for me to grapple around, have some fun if I want to. And the double grappler, well, think just cause three. Okay. Right? We take this thing, we load it in here. Okay. And then we put one grapple somewhere over there in the distance. And I've still got one loaded. Guess what it does? This. Oh boy. So that's what the double grappler does. It's it's pretty it's pretty intense, okay? Now, let's just start having some fun with some weapons, okay? Some of these things over here. Uh, we've got some regular pistols. We've got some lo a long a long deagle. <laughs> what is this? It's it's a deagle, but it's like a long one. Duh. And then we put this here and we load it up and we Whoa. What snazzy that is. We're going to leave it right on the ground over there because we're going to use it in a little bit. <laughs> these guys, these guys don't know what's about to hit him. Can I headbutt him? <laughs> a little bit. I, I could kind of headbutt him a little bit. That's pretty cool. Oh, large chunk of... Oh, God. Oh, Ew, this is heavy. This is... I wonder what would happen if I smacked it into your face. Instead of smacking it into your face, I'm just going to gently release it and it should do something. Oh, ow, ow, oh, it did nothing. It hit me in the face. That's not good. We've got a pitchfork. Um, this thing we can stick stick into people. Just like a little bit. Uh, so I might just, I'm just going to stick it in your hand. That didn't work. Uh, so we're going to try something else. Uh, the regular guns, yeah, it's it's okay. You know, they're, they're kind of fun. But we've got some other stuff. Namely, my favorite, the katana. Oh, samurai wreck. <laughs> oh, what? Now, if you pay co close attention, you might see that uh, the specimen here has uh, got an arm missing. It's just got it's got uh, that thing over there. So we can then, of course, take the uh, the bit that came loose with the katana that we just snapped off, and we can try and reattach it. Oh no, we don't want to do that at all. So I'm just gonna take you, okay? And I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna throw you into the church, okay? Yeah. There you go. Wait, did the church bench just break? The church bench just broke. Oh, can I just take my hand cannon and like go ham on the? Whoa, 
That's pretty cool. You guys are not going to enjoy that too much. Sorry if I hit you with my wide arms. Uh, we've got an oversized... Sl oh, that is an oversized sledgehammer. And... Smackaroo! Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what else do we have here? We've got grappling sword. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Is this is this for me to use, like, as, like, an in, in Attack of Titan? I can use this to, like, grapple? I th I th oh, I can! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't know this was possible. Oh, sorry, I came through the window. Oh, no. Oh, I, I am here to bring you all peace. Um, uh, uh, and mind. Peace and mind. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to leave this sword over there so you guys can pick it up if you want to. That's that's totally good. You know, it's um, it's just if you want to. You don't have to. Do you have mouth physics? Oh, you do? <gasps> You've got mouth physics. Can I, like, can I just... Ooh. That's adorable. Who's an adorable little guy with mouth physics? Now, of course, we've got dull weapons, and then we've got some interesting weapons, like a minigun or a bow or a hundred BMG, a, a berry mega gun. Uh, I don't even know what this means, but we're gonna give it a go. There we go. So now this one is is locked and loaded, and we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna give this guy a piercing through the face. Oh my god. Now, instead of having people always appearing from the church, I might just, you know, spawn them in myself with the spawn gun, huh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if I punch them hard enough with my hand, their face will deform a little bit. It's gonna, it's gonna make them regret life. So, I can enable slow motion. So now we are in infinite slow motion. Oh, whoops. Oh, I grabbed his hat again. Sorry. Oh, he's, he hit his face on the ground. And now his nose is all red. That's okay, though. We can use this fist. And we can give this one a new one. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's insane. That is so cool. Oh, no, oh, I grabbed your toupee. And now you're falling over and you hit your face on the ground. And that hurt a lot. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I kind of did, though. Bonk. Oh. That's lovely, that is. Mm -mm -mm. Now, you might realize after every time something happens, I tend to restart the whole thing. And that's because I don't want the overlords to be displeased with what I create. So, I'm trying to be a little bit sensitive here. I'm just trying to show you the game and what it's all about. And what it's all about is punching people like this in the face. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do it alone, right? I'm not going to do it with this thing. No, I've got something else in mind. It's called a hydraulic fist, okay? This, when I deliver a punch, it will it will it will do some damage a lot. It will do something. Uh, so I'm gonna just pr prepare your core for what's about to hit you. I'm gonna do infinite slow motion because this will be really cool. It will look super amazing when I do this. So here we go. All right, just prepare your core. Just tense up real good. Okay, I know you can do it because you look like you work out. Although we're all stick figures, so it's not you know take that with a grain of salt. Okay, here we go. Right. <sighs> Slow motion, here we go. All right, my super hydraulic punch! Oh! And she flies off into the distance, and this resets. And it's now got a new color scheme. Color scheme, I think this looks great with whatever my editor James has, has decided to put as, as a coloring scheme for, for the bodily fluids. Um, that's a head flying uh, right over there. That's a little bit disturbing. Um, you look like you've been through something. So let me help you with that, okay? I'm gonna help you uh, work through this with, with, uh, oh, a rocket hammer. Okay, so so if I, if I enable it, I can like, can I swing around like real fast with this? I can't swing around with it, but this will. Oh yeah, oh no, okay. All right, now this might look a little bit Bit strange all right so i'm just gonna have it here and i'm gonna i'm gonna rocket boost it and do that Ooh, oh yeah oh this might be even more powerful than the hydraulic punch thing okay so here we go right next to your face this looks scary i know but what's about to be more scary is when i activate the rocket boost oh look at that <laughs> the head flew all the way up there into the distance and up into the sun it's like I'm playing golf with people's heads. Now I've decided to come to the city because this is where my grappling guns are gonna shine. Uh, if I if I knew how to use them properly, that would be even better. Um, so I'm just gonna do do this, and then we're gonna release and woohoo! All right. Um, I'm not that bad with grapple guns, but I know that stick figures, yeah, these guys in particular, are not gonna enjoy falling from heights. <laughs> so here we are at the top of a building. It's not the highest one, but it's the one that I can get to. And down there is pavement. 
or asphalt, whatever you want to call it. It's hard and it will it will be very hard, especially when you drop onto it. So I can just grab you like this, like a normal little like a normal little wobbly rag doll like this. Uh oops. So something like that might happen time to time. It's totally fine though. But down there, look at him. He's walking there and he's got a gun. Now what do we do to people with guns? We attack them with people! Yeah! Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. What if I just try and like attack him from above? And like hit him with a fist like this. There we go. You didn't like that, did you? Huh. Nope. You're not gonna shoot me, but I am gonna... Can I even use this thing? I can't use it. It's a gun for people like you. Ah, my workplace. I've got my fellow colleagues and the boss man is in the boss office over there. Now, uh, I really don't like working in cubicles at all. As a matter of fact, I'd prefer these cubicles were gone, which is what I'm gonna use you for. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought the cubicle was, hello, hi. You, you didn't see what I just did, did you? No, you didn't, and you don't, you don't care. Oh, oh, oh gosh, you should, you, let's, let's just hope you have insurance. Yay! All right, boss man is in this room, and I think I need an appropriate weapon for this, which is the minigun. <laughs> And the, the a rocket. Hi. Hi, my fellow co-worker. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in the boss, man. Where are you? Come on and play. Uh, I think you might actually be the boss, man. Which is why I'm going to show what happens if you don't do exactly what I say to him. Okay? So, what I do to him, or what I'm about to do to him, is what I'm going to do to you if you don't do what I say. Okay? I'm just picking up. I, re I, want, I just want them small. I just want one of them. These ones. There you go. All right. We're going to load this one. Okay? And then as soon as my hand stops glitching, we're gonna load it. And then I'm gonna aim at that guy. We're just gonna say our farewells, huh? We're gonna say our farewells, aren't we? Now, if you don't do exactly what I'm about to say to you, that, oh, oh, that's about to happen. Oh no, that is, that's way too much. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite a lot. It's gonna be even more messy when I get my hands on Big Bertha. Okay, say hello to my little friend. Oh, these cubicles are gone! Yeah, take that, boss man! Yeah, you didn't expect your office to be reduced to atoms, did you? Nor did you expect you to be reduced to atoms. Oh! No, I think this needs uh, a gray filter, James. I, uh, don't you think? I think this needs a gray filter. Now I've decided to come down to the lobby for the last stand, and I'm gonna push this game to its limits by enabling an enemies. Values higher than four may cause performance issues, but not to my 4090, it won't. I hope. Let's make them harmless, why not? Because I just wanna go out and punch people. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I don't see any performance issues. The only thing I see is a bunch of people ready to be reduced to atoms. Oh, there's no way. I forgot that there's more. There's actually more. There's a grenade. And then we've also got a hand cannon, like a big one. The nail gun, okay? I really like nail guns. And there's even like a long nail gun. It's like a right rifle nail gun. So this is a normal one. It does that, which does that. Um, this is, it's it like, sh I think it shoots the nails further. I think that's all it does. And then the cram de la cram is the, <laughs> The hand got hello, hi. Haha, <laughs> you all just gathered around to see what's about to happen, didn't you? So I remember my arm cannon, the puny little one, right? This is far from that. Oh my god! This is far from that, okay? This is a hand cannon ready to obliterate everyone. Oh ho ho, buddy! <laughs> oh yeah, now if you don't want that to happen to you, tough luck, because it's about to. Now I have a grenade here. And I'm assuming wonderful, wonderful things will happen with this grenade when I push it down there. And... Yeah. Mission complete. No reward in... Um, well, I... Okay. 